This is Luke from Emo Electric. We're here today to talk about the trim pin on the E-Propulsion E-Lite electric outboard. This motor came out earlier this year and we've had really, really positive reviews from customers. It's lightweight, it's great for dinghies going a short distance, easy to use, but the one issue we've had a number of customers have is losing their trim pin. So we found a good fix for uh, helping keep the trim pin in place. We'll show that to you in a minute, but first I'll just show you what the trim pin does. So the trim pin is right here and it can go in one of three positions. And once it's set in that position for your boat, you shouldn't have to move it often. The position that it goes in is dependent on the angle of your transom. So if your transom is 90 degrees, just like this motor stand, you want the trim pin in that last position but if your transom is angled back, you would adjust the trim pin to one of these two other spots so that the motor points straight, uh, points perpendicular to the water uh, going straight down. You can see now it's angled because our, uh, our motor mount is perpendicular, but if I tilt that back like an angled transom, the motor would now be perpendicular to the water. So. Anyway, the trim pin, to take it out and put it in, you press it in and turn it up. You might have to lift your motor up a little bit to take the pressure off of it. And then you slide it in. The other function of the trim pin is locking the motor down. So right now the motor is locked, can't raise up, but if I want to raise the motor up, I pull this tab up, push down on the tiller, and now my e-light can go up or down. If you don't have your trim pin in, one, the motor has to be in that all the way down position so you can still use it, but if you go into reverse, the motor will lift up. So if you lose your trim pin, it's not the end of the world, just be cautious uh, in reverse. Really, you, you shouldn't use reverse if you don't have the trim pin in there. Um, but now we'll show you how to, to secure it. So first we're gonna pop the e-light off of the transom bracket. Take the transom bracket off of our motor stand here. All right, and then we're gonna put our trim pin back in. So on our dinghy, we want it in this bottom position. And it actually does kind of lock in place, right? You can't pull it out if it's pointing straight down, but if it turns up like that, ends up in a bag, it can fall out. So we're gonna push it in there Flip it upside down like that. Now when we're actually going to open up our bracket and then we're going to take this zip tie and we're going to put it around the trim pin and we want to get it as close to the side with the angled part of the pin as possible. If it's in the middle, it will get in the way. And you want to use a small zip tie for this. We actually include these with our trim pin orders now, but any small zip tie will work. Gonna clip off the end there. Now, even if that turns up, it can't fall out. So we'll put this back on. So now it locks down, can't come up, locking mechanism works fine. And if this trim pin does end up turning, it can't fall out. And we tested to make sure that that zip tie isn't in the way of this locking mechanism. See, this part needs to get into that pin. So it locks down and it's probably tough to see on the camera, but the zip tie is over to the side there, not in the way. So it's not, not great that we have to worry about the trim pin falling out in general, but a zip tie that costs a couple pennies and a few minutes of your time will help secure that pin and make it so you don't, don't lose it. Uh, if you do lose your trim pin, we generally have those in stock. They've been a little bit hard to come by the summer of 2024, but we're doing our best to stock those. So if you'd like to place an order, head over to our website. And if you're interested in electric outboards, how to maintain your own or information 
on them. If you're thinking about buying one, please subscribe to our channel and like this video. And if you have a question, leave it in the comments below.